Wetten, das feiert heute den Abend der Superlative. Die Künstlerin, die jetzt bei mir ist, die, hat, äh, die ist die meistgespielte Künstlerin im Radio. Sie hatte vier Nummer 1 Hits in den USA und heute Abend wetteiferte sie mit Thomas Gottschalk um das coolste Outfit. Und ich würde mal sagen, sie hat gewonnen. Welcome Lady Gaga. Hi. Thank you. Hi, nice Welcome. to meet you. So great to have you here. And first of all, you have an amazing outfit. Thank you. This is really cool. Have you designed it by yourself? No, or? this is a designer from London named uh, Stefan Orlin Reed. Ah. Uh, who, he's very young and up, he's wonderful. This I love really him. Cool. Well, I and feel this is uh, Dolce & Gabbana. Oh, this is very nice. Well, I feel a little bit underdressed you right look now. Great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> well, um, it doesn't matter. You are the pop star, not me. Um, you just have been honored with an MTV Music Award as Best New Artist, and indeed the whole world loves you, loves your music, loves your style. Thank you. So, um, how does it feel becoming a superstar overnight? Uh, you know, um, I've been working really hard since I was very young, and uh, you know, hustling in like clubs in New York and writing music, and uh, really. Uh, Right now, today, what I'm most happy and blessed with is my fans. So every minute of every day, I'm just very grateful to my fans. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wrote my new record, The Fame Monster, for them. And you topped the charts in the USA with four singles of your album, The Fame, and which is really amazing. Uh, plus, because um, it's amazing for a newcomer. Plus, dance music is normally not that popular in the US compared to Europe. So, did you expect that enormous success? Um, no, I, I did know that I had written some great music and I was very confident in the album. However, originally in the United States, it was very difficult for us to get music played on pop radio because they said, oh, it's dance music mm. but then the weight of the world came upon them and they had to play it and um, the gay community was a tremendous support for me because they were calling in like crazy to the radio stations going why won't you play play her she's yeah. she's great and um, so, and then it happened and here we are so as we all know you do not play Lady Gaga you are Lady yeah, Gaga this is me uh, so you uh, actually do not play according to this pop business rules. Do you think that this is the key for your success? Um, I, I don't really think that um, there's any other key to success other than, um, you know, integrity and hard work and being a loving, mm. loving person to your fans. Uh, if you don't treat your fans well, they're not going to treat you well. Mm. And uh, I, they're like my children, you know, and I, I make music for them. And like I said, when I wrote my new album, Every night I was leaving my heart on the floor during the Fame Ball, my tour, and they were giving so much back mm -hmm. to me. So uh, they inspired me to make the work. And if you, if you don't have that funnel of inspiration, you don't have anything. Yeah. And you were into arts and literature, and you even studied arts in uh, New York. So how does it fit studying and living a life as a pop star? Um, well, I actually look at my work in three components. Uh, it's part pop show, part uh, performance art, and part uh, fashion installation. Mm -hmm. So all of those three components come together any time you see my work, whether it's video or it's live or it's the music versus the fashion. So um, my art history background helps me in that way. And I love Bauhaus, actually. Mm -hmm. That's why I call the House of Gaga House, H-A-U-S, um, because they were a school and they promoted a, a new type of uh, art, which was uh, creating works of art that had a practicality and function in, in, uh, in normal society and every day. Uh, so I guess what I'm trying to say is I try to use commercial market to promote things that are artistic. Ah. And uh, you're also interested in German culture. Yes. You like Rilke and Beethoven. So what's so fascinating about them? Um, so many different things. I, uh, I love Germany and I spent a lot of time in Eastern Europe. And the music here in the nightclubs really influenced me a lot because it's mm -hmm. real techno house dance music yeah. and I got really into sort of gothic industrial uh, dance beats and that's what inspired me to produce this album so Bad Romance for example is just so so industrial a uh, gothic pop and mm -hmm. uh, it's German influence and would you be interested in teaching German kids why uh, Beethoven is so fascinating um, well, Beethoven, besides the fact that I played most of his music when I was much younger, when I was learning classical on the piano, uh, that's sort of the foundation of pop music. You look at Beethoven and you look at Bach and um, their music, uh, or Mozart, uh, yeah. the music was in a very particular format and very dramatic and storytelling in the same way that pop music is. So because of my foundation in, in uh, classical music, I'm able to write pop songs. So stay 
in your practices when your mom's yelling at you? <laughs> and uh, your month of Baltour starts in two weeks in Montreal. Uh, what will make your show special compared to all the other shows? Um, well, I never compare myself to anyone. I only compare myself to myself and yeah. compete with myself. Uh, but it's certainly the first ever Pop Electro op opera. And um, it, again, it's, this, it's, it's the, the sentiments that I said before. It's part pop show, part performance art piece, and part fashion installation. And the theme is evolution. Mm -hmm. So I evolve over time uh, through every stage of um, humanity and mm -hmm. Darwinism. And um, uh, each stage influences the fashion and uh, creates an installation that is uh, mirrored in the music and in the story. So um, it's pretty special. I mean, it's never been done before, and I'm still in the middle of working on it. And are there uh, any plans for concerts in Germany as well? Yes, I'm going to be I'm going to be in Germany soon. Yeah, when? next year. You, next year. Yeah. Okay. Um, and you're releasing your new album, The Fame Monster, on the 20th of November. So, what actually are I think the, it's the 23rd. 23rd. Sure. Yeah. Is it the 20th or the 23rd? What is it? Yeah, here. Yeah. The 23rd. Okay, it's the 23rd, so 23rd yeah. of November. So what actually are the monsters of fame, in your opinion? Um, well, actually, it's not really about fame at all. I don't write about fame, I don't write about money, I don't write about paparazzi. I write about everything else. I wrote about all of my fears, fear of love, fear of sex, fear of alcohol, uh, fear of death. Mm -hmm. And each song is mirrored um, in, a, in a different monster that I've discovered about myself, and uh, so it's a true concept record, but it's a it's a whole album in its own right. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's eight songs, but um, I wouldn't add any and I wouldn't remove any. It's it's mm -hmm. just perfect the way it is. So it's pure Lady Gaga pure on Lady the Gaga. album. Um, last but not least, you have designed ah here here they are. Uh, Earrings. Uh, you designed them. Um, Dr. Dre uh, made the sound, yeah, right? Um, what's the story behind headphones. it? Yeah, what's the story behind it? Why with Dr. Dre? Um, well, Dr. Dre, besides being the most influential and incredible producer in hip hop music or music, period, mm -hmm. um, I love his philosophy about um, headphones mm -hmm. and it's to create a headphone that uh, sounds just the way that we the artists and we the producers want you to hear mm -hmm. our music. And so often for us it is, uh, um, it's devastating when you hear your music played through another computer or different headphones because it doesn't sound anything like we wanted it to sound. So we thought um, in the digital era when music is being compressed and changed and um, Uh, degraded over the internet why not create something that mm -hmm. sort of uh, fixes what we've ruined uh, so that's what these headphones really do and this is just the beginning Dr. Dre is also working on a project with Jimmy Iovine with the Pentium yeah. where they are actually going into the actual um, audio systems in computers and mm -hmm. changing the way that we hear um, songs out of the computers directly so uh, it's part of a musical audio revolution Well, now we have something special for our audience because they can win these. You can win one of these uh, earrings, um, personally touched and maybe kissed by Lady Gaga. Yes, and kissed by Lady Gaga. Just click on our website. Gaga, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much. It was really great and I wish you all the best for thank the future. You. Thank you so much. Lady Gaga.